Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to properly deadhead a rose. I actually would have showed you how to deadhead a rose out in my own garden, but I got super carried away the other night and completely forgot that we were going to do a video on it and I deadheaded all of mine. So thankfully we had a rose down at the nursery that needed to be deadheaded, so I can show you on this one. This is a Floribunda, it's called Love Song and it's beautiful, the beautiful lavender color, I love it. But it's in desperate need, need of deadheading, so I will show you how to do it. Um, deadheading is simply removing the old spent blooms, uh, which encourages more blooming, which is what we want. If you don't deadhead, the plant will send all that energy still up into that where the bloom was uh, to produce a rose hip, which is the seed. Uh, and we don't want seeds, we want blooms. That's why we bought the rose. So we've got to deadhead them to keep them going. Deadheading is also great because it keeps your plant more clean and tidy and usually more comp compact, which is what you want and it helps keep more air in the center of the plant, uh, which helps reduce uh, diseases like uh, powdery mildew, leaf spot, stuff like that, which are kind of tough to battle in roses. So if you keep them nice and pruned and deadheaded, um, it just is a much healthier and productive plant. There are several different groups of roses like Floribundas like this one, Grandifloras, Hybrid Teas, David Austin, Climbers, shrub, uh, boy, fotitas and rugosas, which are just kind of like more wild type roses, but most of them are pruned the same way um, in that you'll want to go down the stem from the bloom and you find the first set of leaves that has five, five leaves. So you can see on this one that it's actually right up here. It's really close to the top of the stem. It's really important to make sure that you're deadheading at a point where there are five leaves because if you don't, if you're pruning at a point where there's only three leaves, um, it most oftentimes produces what's called blind wood, which is non-flowering wood, uh, and you don't want that. You wanna prune it at the right spot um, so that you'll get more flowers, and you also wanna make sure that you're pruning at a spot where the bud will grow outward. So you wanna make sure that the set of five leaves that you're cutting out is pointing out. You don't want it pointing back in, like let's say this one right in here. That one's pointing back in, so it'll produce a, um, new branch and flower back into the center of the rose, which is not what you want. You wanna keep that center as open as possible. So this is actually a great spot to deadhead your rose. So what I do is I take my clippers, which you wanna use a pair of clean clippers, if at all possible. Mine aren't super tidy at the moment, but it'll work. So you come in and you go about a quarter inch up from where the leaf meets the stem. You want an angle cut so the water can easily shed off. So I'm just gonna go in and do my cut here. So you've got five leaves, come in about a quarter of an inch up and make a angled cut, just like that. And this will produce a branch and flower out this way, which is perfect. I'll do my next set right here. There's actually a couple that might be competing. Let me see if we can get it facing here. There's two branches that are coming off of a central right here. And so we just wanna make sure that we're pruning it so that they will grow away from each other or you can prune one of them out. So on this bigger one, I'm gonna go down. These leaves are pointing outward. So I'll go in and cut at a 45 degree angle, quarter inch up from where the leaf meets the stem, like that. Perfect, so this one will produce a flower out this way. Now on this one, you can actually follow it. You don't have to cut at the first set of five leaves. You can keep going down the uh, stem, which is actually kind of um, more in the realm of light summer pruning rather than deadheading, which is a little bit different. Um, light summer pruning is when you take your branch down a little bit further because some uh, roses, especially David Austin's, which I have a lot of, they're my favorite. Um, if you don't do light summer pruning and take them down further, they'll keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger with each new flush of blooms. And I don't want that. I don't want unruly, kind of wild looking roses. I want mine to stay more rounded and compact. So um, this is kind of like that. What I'm gonna do, instead of cutting at the first five set of leaves, which is right up at the top, I'm gonna take this one all the way down to here, where this set of leaves is, because that will help these two branches grow apart from each other. So I'm gonna go in and make my cut just like that. So this one will produce a flower this way and this one will produce a flower this way. Perfect. You might also notice that your rose will sometimes produce really long, kind of wild looking um, bright green shoots. 
um, from somewhere near the bottom. Uh, and if it's coming from above the graft, that's a good thing. It's actually uh, wood that the rose will bloom on next year. So if you've got one of those wild ones up here, just cut it down to size um, to fit in with the rest of your rose. You don't need to cut it out. A couple of other things. If you have a um, type of rose, like a lot of climbers and shrub roses are only once uh, season bloomers, you don't have to do any light summer pruning. You can just deadhead them to keep them look, looking clean and tidy. You don't even have to do that though necessarily. Because you're not wanting the rose plant to send any more energy into more flowers, you can let the hips, the rose hips, um, mature and they're actually really pretty. They're usually a red or a kind of a bright orange and they look really pretty in fall arrangements. But on those types, the climbers and shrubs and things that um, are repeat bloomers, most of the time you can deadhead right below the bloom. So you could take your rose and you could just pretty much take it off at the first leaf joint, whether or not there's five leaves or not. Most of the time they'll rebloom. Um, the best way to do it is just, whoops, kind of losing it here. And I deadhead that one. Um, the best way to find out is just to try it out. So you've got your climber, you try deadheading it right at the first leaf axis. Um, if it doesn't produce blooms after a little while, then cut it down to the next one and so on. And then after one season, you'll, you'll know what your variety needs and what, how you need to handle it. So I'll just do my last couple deadheads real quick, um, just so you can see the rose bush all done. And that's it, it's really not that complicated of a thing. It's just making sure you're shaping the rose right. There are um, some people who are kind of of the thought of just kind of, I'm gonna prune it wherever, it'll, you know, whatever happens will happen. And just kind of a more willy-nilly approach. And I'm usually a part of that crowd, um, but not with roses because I really want my roses to produce. I really think it's important and it's a good idea to treat your roses properly for their health and so you can enjoy more blooms because that's why we plant them. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you are not subscribed, please subscribe below and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye.